Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from General Manager Games. We do a first look at Draft Day Sports' version of pro basketball each and every season. This is made by Wolverine Studios. Gary Gorski is the lead developer on this. And if you're looking on the right-hand side, this is the hub on our website, gmgames.org. You can then go see more information about this game, get mods. Uh, we're known for doing the player picture mod uh, where you get all the real players from, you know, Luca to uh, one, one Miami now. So what we want to show you is a little bit of what's new in this copy of Pro Basketball 2024. Um, and we're going to go through a bit of the list of what they told us, but we have started a franchise. We have picked the San Antonio Spurs. So and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the things that are new, like in season tournaments, uh, some new user experience stuff, UX. There's new uh, dashboards. There's some different types of uh, aesthetic coming through. But anyways, this is a new dashboard of your team. So you're coming in, nothing started yet. We haven't moved past just the D-League assignments in this case. But uh, right now, if you go to our lineup, let's take a look around and what's going on from here. So we have, at the moment, all the player photos. This is a mod that you can get from our site, but that's uh, coming in about a few days time. But yeah, you can go through this. You can see that there's different attributes like dunk ability now, and there's certain things that are going on here as you go through. Let's take a look at Victor, uh, just as an example on the roster. You see this shimmering effect that's kind of happening. That's kind of cool. So that's uh, some of the new aesthetic that's coming through. But with that in mind, we want to advance. We want to take a look at um, some things like personalities in the draft. We might not get to that today, but let's take a look and kick the tires on some of the screens and see how this game feels. So right now we're in the stage. If you look at the top left-hand corner when we go through the D-League assignments, but we want to get to this in-season tournament and see kind of what shows up. Maybe we'll begin a game. We can just look at that that court, the coaching area. We don't have the coaching turned on, I believe, but we can take a look and see how that all plays out. So right now the D-League is being assigned and that's going all around the league right now. So where it's processing the game at the moment. But there are supposed to be some new things. When you start up, there is now this overall rating that you can get. So it's kind of like the Madden or NBA 2K. Uh, when you look at your players, you're not looking at the breakdown, let's say by 0 to 10, um, 0 to 100, for example. And so you can take a look from that perspective at how your players are and all that. This uh, process is definitely taking longer than anticipated. But we're back, so thanks for your patience. So the D-League draft is right now. All the assignments kind of happened around the league. Um, and of course, what we're looking at here is a bit of a change to the UI again. So the, the actual general manager information is now on the left with your inbox, uh, whereas the team information is now back running horizontally at the top. So G-League draft. This is uh, all cleaned up inbox right now. So we want to keep this moving into the season. The last process just took a little bit longer than others. So now we're into the draft class. We're going to get a choice to either import from college basketball, which is we run a big league called CBGM here. There's 110 human owners, but you can actually bring in your draft day sports college basketball 2024 players every season. So that's something that is quite quite handy to keeping your universe going. Uh, in this case, we're just going to pick default because this is just to show off the game today a little bit. But we want to get to some of the uh, different changes. So there have been improvements in in-play is what the company is telling us. Personality 
around these draft picks. So we want to keep this offseason moving along right now <clears throat> as we go through the game. Definitely want to check out this in-season tournament. I brought up about bringing up the new courts and uh, how that might be able to come into the game. And, and Gary, the lead developer, is very much interested in discussing um, bringing that into the, the game itself for mods. And we know that those are those new look courts and it's kind of all happening right now in this current NBA season. So, you know, with the player, to get the real team names, you still need to go get the Sly Bell mod. So none of this stuff actually comes from the company. And you're going to need this uh, type changes if you want to make it feel like the real thing as much as possible. Otherwise, it's very good at making fictional universes. And, uh, you know, at the moment, there's a lot of processing going on here because there's a bit of the transactions happening in the background. So thanks for your patience again on this one. And now we're into the season. So this is one of the first times we're going to get to see a look of what's happening. I wonder if we can actually sim to the, uh, okay. So you're seeing now this is brand new. So the signings are happening. Scotty Pippen Jr. is getting signed from the free agent pool. I'm sure there's Kevin Porter Jr. there, even though he's in legal hot water in real life. So these guys are moving around. You're seeing the ticker. You're seeing this kind of ESPN ticker effect that's going on. So we want to get to, you don't have a choice for the tournaments here. Um, but I do know that right now they're happening in real life around the 7th uh, of November. So let's see if they're actually listed out as when they begin. Okay, so the tournament is not listed here right now for dates. That might be something that they may want to uh, include. Um, and let's see right now in real life what date that actually begins. So in season tournament, we need to get to those dates. So let's keep moving along and sibbing. Uh, have the graphics changed here at all? No, not really, but you can get a sense of what's happening with your games. It's moving quite fast. These toasts keep coming up uh, to give you key information and highlights about the game itself. So this is all flowing through. You can see the graphics are working quite well. Um, simulating quite fast. The actual date itself for when the NBA tournament begins. And the schedule for that, I'm just double checking on my side. Looks like Friday, November the 3rd were the first games, right? So let's, let's try to get us to that point, see if it changes at all. I'm actually curious to see what a league would look like with the uh, overall ratings as well, because I think a lot of people are used to that. I want to do that at the tail end of this video to take a look at what that's all about. So let's get keep going to get to that tournament. Apparently it's the third. It's not listed in the, in the dates on the calendar. So maybe a decision has been made within the game itself to put it in a different uh, time frame in the schedule. So what's this? This looks like potentially maybe an injury going on. So two injured players uh, just happening that week. Okay, so it's showing our games here. I wonder if this is tournament or not. Um, not yet, but what we'll do is we'll keep going. Maybe the schedule, the team might have to get updated. And we're going to keep going here. It's going to be the third, we said. So let's just see that we can get to that date. Uh, I see. So we need to do some changes. We have a serious injury on our team. So with that in mind, let's get back to our dash. We then want to get to the roster. Uh, in this case, it's the depth chart. Apologies on that. Uh, we lost Vassal and we lost Sohan. Yeah. Okay. So these guys, let's get an auto suggest just so we can keep things moving in the vid. So we don't want to store that, but we want to keep things moving along. And we're going to select the sim length to try to get to that November 3rd date. Uh, we'll go through this one quick. And we're not going to watch that game. So we're going to sim to November the 3rd and play through. And I must not have saved that particular 
steps. So as you can see, this is the kind of the workflow that you got to go through, but we'll go to the depth again. Uh, yeah, because the point guard here was being played still by a hurt player. So even though the suggestion came through, I don't know why that happened. So let's uh, ensure that the point guard position is updated here in this case. Uh, not letting us actually do anything in this case. Okay. Mm, that's a bit odd to me because then how do you actually move these guys? So let's come back into the depth chart, reload that. Mm. For whatever reason, just didn't pop up on the screen at the time. Okay, so let's get back to PGs. We're gonna, in this case, let's suggest the matrix. I'm not sure why. There we go. We got, we're going to take the hurt player out of the lineup. They're playing full minutes here, obviously. So that's not really the greatest. So let's just store that. So we want to keep things moving along. Those hurt players can't be playing the next game. And let's keep it going to try to get to that date, November the 3rd. And then run a little in-game, see what's going on. We're not going to have a full roster, obviously. Daily draft still here. That's kind of like the DraftKings effect. And I guess it's also an issue with the way the order is being set. So, yeah. So, I apologize for this delay to be able to get past this point. But we're going to go back to the depth chart of the Spurs starting lineup it's complaining about so in this case we need to swap these guys entirely uh, injuries are normally try to turn down from 100 down to about the 75 percent when i play this game let's store that lineup let's give it one more go and we're gonna get to that november the third And we had the 2D on, so we don't want to do that. We want to we want to push through here to watch something around the third, if that's when the tournaments begin, the in-season tournament. And we are moving through now. So even though the suggest matrix were kind of altered the lineup, it kept them in the starting lineup. So looks like some intelligence is going to be needed to be updated on that suggest matrix. Of course, if you're actually taking the time to, to play and study this game, then you know, you'll be setting that lineup quite a bit differently. Okay, so nothing on this day right now. But let's, if anything, the next game that we have, we're going to go play it out, take a look. And we're still not up yet. We're going to go do some in-game looks in a sec. So thanks for your patience. That one in six Spurs, the injury is really hurting us at the moment. And let's get the chance to do a little 2D. Here we go. We're going to play the Raptors in this one. So let's play... Uh, human control in this case, but I might do AI just to kind of let the game whip through. We're just going to show again. Let's see if anything new is in the uh, new 2D. This is a brand new starting lineup. Uh, this this looks cool. You do have the brand new, the photos, uh, very much like TV presentation, starting to feel like NBA 2K a little bit here. So I really like that. Really like that background color look. That's cool. And here we go, a bit more of the effect of when you're playing the game itself, the fonts, uh, how that's all coming through. So let's just set up the game options here. Uh, pause at all stops, we want half time. Sounds will turn off for now. Auto sub, yep. I don't wanna be doing that in this case. Let's begin, let's see what kind of speed we can put the game at as well.
So right now it's kind of running at a certain pace. So one Manyama doesn't really, has the, uh, the same height. So right now in terms of the look, this is brand new quartz though. Slybell, done, you've done an amazing job. But uh, you can see the players don't really have kind of a ratio based on um, the height of the centers. Uh, but still there, I mean, like there's some different effects happening here with the ring. So it's showing where the ball is at all times. At times when the ball disappears on the dribble, it's been a little bit difficult to track. So this is possession, who has it? It's getting a little bit, you know, kind of more clear about how to deal with that possession. Now, in terms of speeding this up, we definitely want to. So if I press stop, those are the stats. This setting may be done outside of the screen. That's maybe the case why uh, you don't have the plus set, the plus logo here, plus, 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 to be able to advance fast. I wonder if there's another way to crank it up. Pressing plus hasn't changed that. Um, that's the play-by-play -play log. You can get to see all that action. So yeah, I, I cannot see right now where you would actually speed up the 2D gameplay. And uh, someone I'm sure can tell me in the, uh, the chat. So then you see Schroeder now in the Raptors. He's got his first basket. Already the bench is in really fast there. Um, so you can see some of the AI coaching and what they're up to right now. But one Manyama has already been taken out. Maybe foul trouble, whatnot. Um, but that was really quick. But we're going to stop this. What I want to do is at the same time, uh, there's personalities for draft picks. So what I might want to do is take a look to see um, what the draft preview looks like for a sec. I think we can get to that scouting screen. But anyways, that looks nice as long as you can turn up the speed a little bit somewhere. And uh, I'm sure there's some sort of setting. So let's take a look, see if the game options might be in here um, and where you can sim speed. So show dashboard by the last name. Um, so I actually like the dashboards by position, but um, yeah. So 2D, I don't see the speed here. Simulation, there we go. Uh, that's just, oh, that's not in-game though. So I'll have to check out to see where that all is. But anyways, let's get into, let's say, um, the draft scouting, right? So they're saying new personalities, new information here. Do we have a draft pool? Okay, we do. So you're looking at college. You're looking at a guy from Belgium who's, uh, who's a top prospect. But these are the rankings right now. These are the names. Devon Kelly. We may not be getting all the details just yet because we're not right up into the draft, but you are getting a sense of like who is coming and we'll get a little bit more information when the draft comes. But I am curious to see before we wrap up on this vid and what's new in the game and, and whatnot is to go and start a, a new game on the new overall rating. So let's see how that is. We're going to start a new league. We'll do a sandbox, the default rosters. So this is how you get the NBA players. You just select that. You also want to turn off some of the fictional selection choices so they can go through. So this one, again, we're going to say NBA test. Uh, I usually do this national basketball association. Association, we're going to go NBA and this is the NBA championship. So we'll just get those things out of the way and use the in-season tournament. I didn't see where that was, so uh, we'll have to go do some more research on that another time. But I want to see this. So there is, uh, use the overall rating. And it's a combination of the two. So I want to see how that comes through on a player card. So now we're going to go customize the Pro League. This is all set already, D-League. I'll just leave it as D-League. Normally I set that as G-League. And the name is not a big deal. So this is a test user. And we're going to select a team in the NBA. We're going to be the Celtics just for this case. I'm not going to worry about any of the skill selections and all that.
Okay, so we're spawning this new universe here. And I'm going to take a look to see what those rating styles are. I'm sure you do stumble upon the in-season tournament. Um, well, if they're referring to the playoff, play-in tournament is one thing. But I do believe this is the... They're talking about the representation of the, the tournament in the game. So that is supposed to be there and new. But there's definitely a play-in tournament. So right now, just finishing the completion of the league. So it's definitely got a nice, you know, UI feel to most of the game itself. And of course, uh, thank you for joining us at General Manager Games, GM Games. Been around for over 10 years covering sports management simulation games. So we really appreciate the fact that you, you know, subscribe to us tune into the videos and all that good stuff we got so that five percent to go we were on 85 percent it's almost spawned our league now but um yeah i mean we have an active discord right now so the link to the discord is usually in the description of the videos um, so we're chatting these types of games all the time from out of the park baseball to football manager to you know the new front office football nine um, and the other of course wolverine studios games so all of them all, a lot of different developers as well indie big small but we're almost in here we go let's load it up let's take a look what the overall rating system is now um so let's get to the roster and see what it looks like for a player like i don't know Derek white's kind of a good interesting you know here it is okay overall the potential is coming in overall what about the individual stats? I see. So what this does here, it, it gets rid of that star system of pot. And now you get a gauge versus the potential indication. So that's pretty cool. Um, a guy like Tatum is really hot. It goes all the way almost to the 100 meter. Uh, there's no gradient going on here, but you get more of that OVR. So there's a bit more like feeling like NBA 2K. Um, versus the star system. So I kind of like this. I might bring this into a different game that I have. I'm wondering if I can still do that on um, college basketball in the future. But let's still look at someone who's on the low end. That's their OVR now. So, and Pot's there. Uh, Pot's pretty close in all these examples, except Delano Ben, Former Raptor, Canadian up there. Um, on having that type of aesthetic. So thanks everybody today for coming to visit the game. If you have questions, um, feel free to check out that website, gngames.org. You're gonna get different images. Uh, the picture, player picture mods coming up very soon. I got every single player in there, every coach. Let's take a look at the staff. You can take a look here. Every, every coach, every owner. Uh, that test user is me, of course. I do have Joe Mazula, so that's, I'll have to double check why that happened in this case. But um, yeah, thanks everybody for coming and uh, have a great, enjoying experience with this. Try the demo if you like. That's always a good way to uh, play around. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.